Brank. A win tonight for Fairmont Heights would mean their program's ninth state title, but their first back-to-back -back state titles since 1970 1971. And Dunbar, man, that team gave them everything they could handle. First half, Hornets look pretty sharp. Orlando Reed, heavy D with the spot up three. 18-14, Fairmont Heights. But then Dunbar took it to another level. Malik McCormick, the soft touch in the lane with the left. 10-0 run for the Poets, up 24-18. Second half, Dunbar really turned it on thanks to Deshaun Phillip. Yeah, he got away with the travel, but throws it down. 15-point lead. He had a game-high 27. Hornets did get within nine late in the fourth. Darren Lucas White, the layup, but they just couldn't make enough plays. Their bid to repeat falls short as they fall 59-48. to A very tough pill to swallow, but still a lot to be proud of. 50-plus wins in, three, in two years. Um, I feel like we, 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 had a great, we had a great run. It's legendary what we did. So the Hornets season ends in heartbreaking fashion, but Coach said after the game, hey, there's an other side to this, and that's an opportunity for these guys to grow and learn as they begin their next chapter in life. At the Xfinity Center, Chris Williamson, WUSA 9 Sports.